Hello, fellow money hunters! Uh, I am T Bone Pearson here with Crazy Crash Flow. That's right, I've added a crazy in front of the cash flow. Um, so, because this strategy is quite insane, it goes against the very rule of chasing high dividends, high yield dividends. Uh, usually, this is called a yield trap, and I'm falling right into it. But <laughs> we'll see if there uh, I can have some success, anyways. Uh, I always like to do a contrarian viewpoint. I like to think for myself, and I saw someone playing with this type of strategy, and he was doing quite well. Uh, now, a recession, like I said, this is like a house of cards. It could fall down in a recession, and probably will. But you guys can laugh at me and uh, watch the progress. Um, so this again is just my fun money. Um, I've got close to three thousand dollars in here. I have a huge portfolio of safe stuff. Uh, this is just my fun little ex YouTube experiment, or in Facebook, I put it on Facebook as well. Okay, so for people who have watched some of my videos, I have added one stock here. It is an Taro Midstream. So I have bought. 55 shares um, and so I believe I put in $500 um, so I'm down like $53 roughly so and I'm not even sure when these guys pay their dividend we're gonna look into that but the good thing about these guys is they pay an 18% oh there we go 17.98 basically 18% dividend the X dividend was October 31st. Um, I hope I bought it before then. Um, I think I did. So let's look at statistics. What is their payout? Let's go down here. So the payout ratio is basically how much of their money do they pay to guys like me and you, the dividend um, shareholders. Payout ratio, so it's not available. Now, this is an oil and gas, maybe like shale company, so it's a little different than. Um, here's my make it rain. Let's go. There we go. Okay, so yes, 55 shares. Let's look at this company. So, this is the website here, enterromidstream.com investors page. And they have details. They just released their earnings, and uh, the stock took a hit. But I may buy some more. Let's see. I've got how much money in there? Okay, 500 bucks. I'm a little scared of these guys just because the dividend is so high at 18%. Usually, that's a, <laughs> a screaming sign to run away. But I think their earnings weren't that bad. I know they're pulling back. We're gonna look at their website again. So I've signed into up for this earnings webcast here, right here. So you have to give them your email. And let's just listen to the earnings call. Actually, this is something I rarely do and should do more. And you guys should do as well, because you are becoming owners of these companies. You know, given it's a small little chunk, but you own a bit of this company. Let's listen for a bit. Greetings to you. So let's just jump maybe in. Now this thing's 43 minutes. Let's go to the presentation I downloaded. It might be, oh, that's a Remax balloon, not a presentation thing. We'll go to investors. Um, and where's the presentation? I think you click audio. Oh crap. Uh, ta -da. Download presentation. Here you go. So she's yakking away. Let's look at this here. All right, let's turn this off. And now, where's that presentation? Let's get it going here. Here we go. All right, let's have a quick look at this. I'm not listening to 45 minute conference call. Maybe before I go to bed, I'll just have it on and soak it in matrix style. Okay, so this is going to take some time to read through to make heads or tails. Now, is this earnings per share? 
So we've got 2019. Again, I'm gonna have to dive into this. Um, but there's lots of information. And I wanna read through this because I, I wanna put more money in this, especially 18%. Let's look at their dividend history. Um, let's go to doo -doo 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 -doo, investors and see if we can find some dividend information. News release, financial result, oh, wait, that's always good. So it looks like they're doing better here, third quarter 2019. Um, there's the stock, it, it took a hit on earnings, but I, I heard they were actually weren't half bad. Yeah. What about dividends? Let's throw in midstream and then dividends. Maybe there's a page that one of these other sites may be able to. Now, because it's the .com in there, here we go. Maybe NASDAQ will help us out. Give us a history of these payouts. Oh, okay, here it is here. Now what? I got it. All right. It's saying 19% yield, but, and it could be. Maybe Yahoo is behind. Sometimes the dividends aren't calculated, I've noticed. So we've got, this was the ex-dividend date. Payment date is gonna be the 13th. So it's the 10th today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So hopefully I got in before that 31st. I think I did. And I'll get paid, uh, we'll do the math on that in a minute. So on Wednesday, we'll see. Drinking a nice hot tea here. Um, so then on, there was a 30 cents. Yeah, basically 30 cents per share. But see how these change. So there was a smaller one here, a bigger one. So it fluctuates. It seems like it's going up though, which is good. We're up to 44 cents on this one. 60 on that. So it fluctuates a bit. Doesn't seem like it's a solid one, which is sort of what you want. Um, since 2015. So anyways, what do you guys think of this Ontario midstream? I do have to look into, I'm gonna listen to that webcast before I put another 500 bucks in and I'm gonna read over that presentation. Uh, but what are your thoughts there? Let's see how much money now, it looks like it's quarterly, so it's not monthly. But I don't want them to all be month monthly because then you're just narrowing down the stocks um, that you can choose from, right? Like, oh, I can't be patient enough to... I don't have to get it every month. So let's let, have a look here. So AM, 55 shares, uh, basically, what was it, 17.98. So 55 shares, 55 times, uh, oh, we need the stock price, 616, $338 and 80 cents. Wow, no, that can't be right. No, okay, that is, that's weird. Okay. Oh, I see. This is an American company. It's on the NASDAQ. So I guess it's calculating my return or how much I paid in Canadian. So, and then times point, let's say 180, is $60. So I'm going to get $60 US from them. And so let's times that by. 1.30, that's sort of our exchange rate. So I'll get about $80 from these guys over the year. Um, now let's divide that by 12. I know it's not a monthly dividend, um, but that's this will be the average that I get. So $6.60. So therefore, we are at, we were at 25, so that'll get me up to $31.60 a month. Now I won't get it again, it's just averaged, but if you, uh, at the end of the year, if you average it down, it's going to be $31.60. 
Um, so yeah, and I've spent um, $2,941, basically. I wonder how do I get the, let's see, what did I say? It was thirty-one sixty, right? So let's try to get the um, thirty-one. No, that's for the month. What is it for the year? So let's go twenty. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's easy to do, right? Because you just go thirty-one sixty times twelve will give us what I get paid yearly. So three hundred seventy-nine dollars and twenty cents. Um, we have to know what it looks like roughly let's see divided by we'll divide it by 2941 2941 so I'm getting a 12.8 12 12.9% yield with all of these so that's not bad and again the rule I don't know if you've watched any of my videos before but uh, the rules I can't put more than a thousand in each one. I may change that. Um, after I do my research, I might put another five hundred dollars into this. Um, Can Canadian, so uh, also chem trade. I wouldn't mind putting more money in there. I'd like to get pizza pizza up to a thousand. I feel quite comfortable with these guys, just because I know them. I see them. I see their boxes at people's houses. I, I see friends ordering it. Um, I'm not sure about. Hot. We'll see. I haven't done much, uh, that much research into it. So there we go, guys. That's the new pick. Um, what do you guys think? We've got two oil companies. We have a chemical uh, company uh, that does like sulfuric acid and niche chemicals for companies. Um, these guys have oil rigs. in. Uh, they, they're based in Canada, but they have oil rigs out by, I think, Ireland and France and Australia. And these guys, I think, are based in the States and do this type of shale um type things pizza pizza of course is a canadian pizza company they do like low cost pizza that's pretty good and lots of good deals you can't really beat their deals um and we've got an american hotel which is they build hotels by where railroad employees stop and they do a contract with the railways so there we are what i say it was a 12 12.8 12 percent dividend average and it's paying me uh, what is it? Uh, Thirty-one dollars, roughly, in sixty cents a month. What are your guys' thoughts? Please click the like button so I keep making these. I will show you my journey, and we'll see. Uh, uh, I'm scared to see what would happen to this in a recession. So beware! I am not a financial advisor. Uh, the stock market is a crazy beast. Uh, if you jump on that, that. <laughs> that piece and got knocked off it's your own fault uh, I, I this is craziness crazy crap crass Ugh, I can't even talk crazy cash flow I'm gonna add the crazy because this is a dangerous thing to do uh, and it's just my fun money anyways guys if you could just uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can see my journey thanks so much for watching please smash that like button and I will talk to you guys soon please comment below let's talk give me your tips cheers bye